Hello friends, I'm Vikram Joy, your host for the show Spice of Life. Today we have with us a renowned theatre director, someone who's been a part of the Department of Indian Theatre in Punjab University for over 25 years. She's a passionate teacher. She's trained thousands of Indian theatre artists. A director whose group, the company, has performed globally. She is also the recipient of the Padma Shri Award. Let's welcome Dr. Neelam Man Singh Chaudhary. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Tell us about your uh, theatre company, the company. Well, my theatre company, the company has a very simple name. Uh, it was started in 1987. It was basically an accident that became such a huge process and a huge uh, establishment. Uh, I came to Chandika, I moved from Bhopal to Chandika and I wanted to do a play so I put a group of people together and those days one looked for sponsorships and some kind of financial infrastructure so you have to establish a name before you can ask for funds so that's how company seemed like such a simple name um, that's how it came about the group comprises of urban and rural actors the rural actors are basically musicians who come from a long tradition known as the Nakals but uh, today they are slightly dislocated, uh, fragmented from what they originally their tradition seemed to suggest but they were a group of people who could play musical instruments okay. and the urban actors were actors, some of them trained from the Department of Indian Theatre but mostly local actors who were working so we all came together and started working together so that's how the company was formed? Yes. So ma'am, how important do you think is uh, training in theatre? I think training is very important because there are three things you need to be a director. One is that you need a story to tell, yes. you need technique and you need passion. Yeah. So technique is sandwiched between the two. That is why the, um, the word for any performer or any any painter is called craft, a shilpakar. So, its craft, craftsmanship, is very essential. You know, just like you can't be an amateur doctor and you can't be an amateur lawyer. In the same way, I do not know and do not understand why people do not comprehend how important training and technique is yes. in becoming an actor. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, did uh, being a director? Did it enhance your teaching skills or did it hinder your teaching skills? I think they are both dovetailed. You can't separate one from the other because you do not teach theatre purely theoretically. Even the theory can only be comprehended if there is practice. You have to have an understanding of practice to be able to put forth theoretical concepts which are fairly complex and fairly layered and quite uh, uh, you can say philosophical and metaphysical in terms of the people who left behind uh, certain books which have become Bibles for us. If you take the Natya Shastra, the oldest uh, book on dramaturgy, or you take many years later the theories of Aristotle or Meerhold, Stanislavski, Grotowski, Bertolt Brecht, uh, unfortunately we've had some really very uh, significant theatre directors who worked with a certain method mm -hmm. of training yes. but unfortunately we've not had scribes who have actually documented their process and their practice. Okay. Ma'am, have you observed any changes in the students in the past few years? Well, I think students are getting better and better okay. every year. Suddenly the consciousness of training as being a significant tool uh, to make it into whether television or for the stage or for the for the cinema has kind of percolated into the consciousness of people who want to be actors. Previously there was a feeling you need instincts, you need emotions, you need to have confidence and you can be an actor. But that's really all hogwash. You basically do need training. Mm -hmm. Whether you train from an institution or you train from a good director, both systems of training are equally valid. We all know how institutions are collapsing these days. Yes, you know, so what, what is happening is that you're not getting such great teachers that I was fortunate enough to have 
like Ibrahim Al Qazi or P. V. Karanth, mm. who were absolutely phenomenal teachers, or even for that matter, Dr. B. N. Goswami, who's not from theatre but who actually made me understand how to use words, what choreography meant through looking at the visual world. And of course, Al Qazi was a Renaissance man; he was a great master. And B. V. Karanth was a person of great. Uh, uh, celebra celebratory spirit. Yes. He taught me the value of improvisations as an important method of creating and constructing a scene. So, what do you strive to do as a teacher? As a teacher, teacher yeah. you know, as a teacher, you cannot really, you cannot really teach a person how to be an actor mm -hmm. or a good actor, mm -hmm. but you can certainly teach them how to look at the universe. You can teach them what not to do. I think that's uh, that's a very uh, significant aspect that you can teach them. And the other thing you can make them understand that there is a work culture, there's an ethics, and art is hard. There are no shortcuts. There are no easy, quick fix solutions. You have to go through a certain journey, and observation and experience are very important elements, and also compassion, because it's only if you have compassion can you really comprehend another character or another person if you have that empathy that identification that sympathy ma'am uh, tell us about your current work in training actors well you know last year i worked with uh, actors from chandika local actors i i have got my own group which mm -hmm, yeah. has been going on for 30 years but a uh, lot of actors had been asking me to do a production with them and then it was like a chance uh, opportunity where the Chandika administration offered me a certain amount of funding, very very minuscule, not enough to build a production but it was an opportunity where I worked with uh, 15 actors from Chandika and we did a four month workshop. I didn't know by the end of the day what would emerge because I had to teach them about text how to speak text, text and body, text and emotion, emotions and body, how to relate to space, how to work with objects. So for four months it was a long, um, challenging uh, journey which we both took together, together, the actors and myself. And for me it is very essential to make them recognize and realize that all work that we do is collaborative. Yes. You know, that the actors are also as much participants in developing the script and the narrative as the director. So, and to kind of distribute authorship mm -hmm. and to also respect the actor's imagination, to unlock their mm -hmm. possibilities, to tell them that anything is possible on the stage. Just jog your, uh, your own locked doors and windows and open them up. Any advice you would like to give to the upcoming uh, artists? I don't like giving advice, you know, it almost seems like I'm uh, well, any mantra, superior. Any, any, well, any the answer. thing is that uh, um, it's a constant challenge. You c cannot sit back and say that you know enough or you've seen enough. Every day is a new unlocking, is a new opening. Uh, you cannot deal with status. You have to always be part of the dynamics of change yes. and transformation. Thank you so much ma'am, it was wonderful uh, talking to you and I hope that uh, the company grows and it grows. Thank you so much. Thank you ma'am. So this was Dr. Neela Man Singh Chaudhary for us. You must have got the point that there are no shortcuts in life. See you soon in another episode of Spice of Life.